Hi everyone, uh, Dawson and Peter here, um, and uh, we're going to be running through some more diagnostics on the PDP-12. Uh, today we're looking at the tape controller diagnostics, um, and we've been running into a strange error uh, regarding um, a certain flip-flop for the link tape control. Uh, so we're going to run through the test here, show you the error, and uh, and then start with the debugging process, I suppose. So um, this is the second diagnostic of two. The first one was uh, testing the tape machinery, I think, yep. and it was it was spinning the, the tape drives. Yeah. Um, this one is just about the logic, um, and before we start it, uh, there's, we're looking at the, the instructions here about what to do, how to start it, and we notice that someone has uh, annotated the manual that was originally scanned in. Uh, make sure that we tape the mark switch down, and it will give us an error if we don't do that. So we've, uh, I have a little piece of masking tape here, and Dawson, why don't you do the honors? Now, uh, what does the mark switch do? Uh, that's... I believe what enables the link tape drives to actually mark the tapes um, and do their initial marking. Um, I think that in combination with the right enable switch is what allows it. So it's sort of a safety that you have to hold that down to format a tape. Yeah, I know with the, uh, the yeah, for formatting tapes, I know that you need to do that. Okay. I think you can get by without doing that for normal tape reading. Okay. All right, uh, but of course to test the logic we have to do that. So um, why don't we run this test? These tests will run like 4K times unless you set a value in a particular register. Um, so uh, we're not going to wait 4,096 times for this test. Um, we just happen to know that it's going to print out an error. Um, so we're going to wait for that error to appear. Although I should say, we don't know that it's going to print an error because we did clean the card in question, the flip chip. Which was quite dusty, um, but I'm not hopeful that it will actually solve the problem. So um, we'll see. Otherwise, this will be the most anticlimactic debugging video ever. And uh, fun fact: Dawson is graduating on Saturday, um, yep. and uh, we'll, we'll see what what's exactly next for him. But uh, it's. Uh, both exciting and a little sad, but mostly exciting. Yeah. Sad for me, not for him. I'll miss working here. Aha! Ooh! Okay, so wow. TC2, TC12, that's the controller, right? TC12 is a controller? Uh, yeah, it's like the option name for the, the tape control. It's 12 for the computer and then tape control and the tape controller. Oh, sure, sure. And we passed the test, which uh, I don't think we did last time. Nope, we did. <laughs> we completely solved it. Yeah, so... Uh, one of the system manuals that says go in and jiggle the cards if it's not working. <laughs> yes, uh, exactly. Percussive maintenance. Uh -huh. um, now in this case, uh, compressed air maintenance. Yes. Uh, it's not often that you can literally uh, repair your computer with a can of compressed air. But uh, we may have just done that. So well, let's. Uh, I'm gonna wait for another loop here. Uh, but don't worry, dear video watcher, I'm not going to make you sit through <laughs> three minutes of uh, testing time. Squealing computer, blinking lights. It is kind of uh, modern music-esque. Yeah. Sample for Captain Beefheart record. Yes. <laughs> Yep, nasty. 
again. Oh my god. That's <laughs> when okay, so um what we well okay. So maybe what we can do is uh talk about how we identified where um the error was because we literally pulled out and cleaned well we cleaned the card in question and then we kind of dusted off the other ones um so uh i'm gonna just kill the test then. yeah go ahead and kill the test and i'm gonna uh go to a page in the manual for the error that we were getting so the error we were getting was um LTT mark clock failed to generate TP0. So it's saying that the LTT mark clock uh, didn't generate a particular signal, and we can check our manual to see um, where the hardware is that's supposed to generate that particular signal. Um, so we have this big manual uh, drawings, and we see that. Um, here's the TC12 LTT signal, and it failed to generate uh, TP0. So where's TP0 in all this? Uh, right up here. So TP0, got a little focus issue here. So TP0 high and low are both generated by what? Uh, that's M304, so that's going to be uh, one of the flip chips in card slot C18. Okay. Um, so M304 is a one-shot delay module, I believe. Um, so what we can, what we could have done is uh, pop the oscilloscope onto pins M1 and L1 and uh, actually watch the signals as they were changing to make sure that they were actually changing. And then moving down the line to TP1 and TP2 uh, and TP3 and making sure that those are all changing together. Um, one thing that Dawson had mentioned was, you know, we don't necessarily know is it that this signal isn't being generated by this card or is it that it's not being, like, received by yeah. its destination? So whatever's down the pipe is not using it correctly was the other consideration. Um, another thing we had talked about doing was kind of what we expected to do next for this <laughs> video uh, was you'll notice there's an M304 here in C18 and another one in C20 and another one in um, well these are both in C20 but yeah. there's, and then C19 so there's three of those cards um, for involved in generating the signal so one of the things we thought about doing was just swapping two of the cards and then seeing if the error message changed and then that might help us uh, narrow down you know where the error really is um, but it turns out we don't have to do that yeah. um, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this video and then we can show you how we find the right card slot um, on the uh, back plane and, and inside um, because that might be interesting. So I'm going to stop the video. Okay, so uh, we had previously talked about uh, how we found uh, C18 and where that M304 flip chip was. Um, so if you look at the actual back plane here, um, everything is neatly organized into columns A through F. So what you want to do is find your C column and very carefully count down based on these white lines that are running through um, the inside of the back plane there. And each one of those is a separation between a flip chip. And so once you get down to 18, then those that set of pins will be the signals from that flip chip. And so if we go inside we can look for so column C and this one is C29 uh, 26 7 nope down uh, 26 5 24 23 22 21 20 and 19 18 so this is and you can see there's several m304s in that area. 
So this is nice, clean, uh, shiny, and clean. Yes. After uh, last week, it, it, like literally glistens. <laughs> um, we used both compressed air, but also some uh, deoxit spray because this one was quite dusty. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of grime uh, in the pins on the ICs and and so on and so forth. So whether this is a permanent solution to our problem or well, sometimes. They're, they're not great connections. They're just little card edge connectors, and sometimes they're not as tight as sure. they should be. Um, um, and you can actually see from the weight of them sitting all this time, some of them, the ones towards the bottom, are starting to just angle ever so slightly downwards because of yeah. the, their weight. Yeah. Um, so they don't have the best connection anymore. I guess that's it's possible that the connection problem wasn't the grime on the card, it's, but it was the, the interface. Yeah. But um, why don't we pop it back in? Mm -hmm. See if I can get this I know. first try. It took me about five minutes last time to get it in. There, that's Dawson's a pro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's our, our row of M304s um, that were shown in that diagram. And again, if we had needed to, after swapping them out, we would have found column C and then gone down to column 18, or to row 18, and clipped on uh, with the oscilloscope. We have a new oscilloscope. Haven't uh, We calibrated it, but haven't used it yet. So if we needed to, we could use that to see if... Um, the signals were actually uh, going the way they were supposed to. So, um, that was kind of a stroke of luck. Yeah. And, uh, do you want to say goodbye? Goodbye. <laughs>